So you wanna find good music to use in your podcast, but you don't wanna get sued. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find free music that you can safely use in your podcast. Here we go. You have two options. One, pay a lot of money for the privilege of using the latest Taylor Swift song. Not for that price. Probably outside of your budget. So the other option is to find free or affordable tracks that you can use in your episodes without having to worry about getting in trouble. And the process I'm gonna show you is the same process that I've used over the last five years to create more than 10 podcasts. And it's the same process that at Buzzsprout we have taught to more than 200,000 podcasters. So we know that it works and you definitely wanna make sure you pay attention to the legal stuff that we talk about in this video because it could be the difference between your podcast staying up and available and unfortunately getting taken down by a platform, which we have seen before. And we don't want that to happen to you. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the importance of having great music in your podcast, we're gonna identify free places that you can find music that is safe to use in your podcast. We're gonna show you some examples of music that you can incorporate into your episodes with links to download them specifically from these free places and also show you how to edit it into your podcast episodes. So why do you even need music in your podcast anyways? Well, it sets the tone for your show. Think about all the TV shows that you have come to know and love, whether it's The Office or Seinfeld or Game of Thrones. All of those have a music soundtrack associated with them. So when you are watching that show, that music clues you in that I'm about to have this kind of experience. You wanna create that with your podcast, but you don't wanna just choose any music. It has to be specifically tailored for what you talk about and the kind of tone you're trying to set for your show. So for instance, if you have a silly show that's kind of casual and there's a lot of banter and joking around, you want the music you choose to match that tone. You want to, you don't want to choose this super dark, gritty death metal music to go along with a podcast for homeschooling moms. That just doesn't fit. And so you want to find something that is going to match the tone and the feel of your show and choose a genre that you like. So if you really enjoy kind of that electronic music that's going around YouTube nowadays, use that in your podcast. If you're more of a country fan, try and find some acoustic stuff. So as you bring your personality to the podcast, the music really complements that. And the biggest warning that I will give you in choosing music is don't go with the things that everyone else is doing. So if you have a true crime podcast, stay away from the violins. Plenty of other true crime podcasts have gone that road. Do something different that's gonna set you apart, but still helps you really shape the feel and the tone of your episodes. So what music can you safely use in your podcast? Well, the first option really isn't an option where you pay Bon Jovi or Elton John a ton of money for the privilege of using their song in your podcast. Probably not in your budget. And there are actually three other ways you can use music in your podcast that is safe and won't cost you an arm and a leg. The first one is Creative Commons. And that is where the artist that created the music track decides the level of permission that he is giving other people to use that track in their own work. And so you can think of these levels as like levels of permission. So at the very top would be, this track is free to listen to. You can share it with your friends, you can listen to it on your personal device, and you don't have to pay the artist anything. Unlike iTunes, where you pay 99 cents or $1.29 for a song. But then above that, you have free to use commercially, where you can take that track, use it on your YouTube videos, use it in your podcast, and that's totally fine. And then also free to modify commercially is when you can actually move stuff around, you can cut pieces out, and you can take full advantage of everything that's in that track and really shape it into what you need it to be. So Creative Commons is one way that an artist can label their music in order for other people to use it in their own works. You just want to make sure that you understand the particulars of the license for the track that you want to use. The second way you can find pod safe music, yes, we just made up that word, but it's totally accurate, safe for your podcast, is public domain. And that simply means that the copyright on that track or that piece of music has expired. Think Beethoven or some of those classical pieces that were written and recorded hundreds of years ago. Anyone can use them without having to pay any kind of royalties. And so you can look into the public domain and see if there's some tracks or some music that you really like. And if you find one that really fits with your podcast, you can use that and you don't have to worry about royalties at all. And the third kind of music that you can use safely in your podcast is called royalty free music. Now a royalty is something that you pay the original artist for the privilege of using that particular track. And it's something that you do every time you use it. So every single one of your episodes you have that music in, you could potentially be paying that artist for that privilege. But if something is royalty free, that means that you either pay a one-time fee up front, and that gives you the track to be able to use 
as you see fit in perpetuity without any kind of restrictions. Or there are even websites that you can find royalty free music that has no fee, where you can actually download it for free. And we're gonna talk about some of those websites here in a second. But just know that this kind of music, royalty free music, is the most popular music that you'll find in podcasts. That's because the legal stuff is really clear and it's not hard to figure out. It's either royalty free or it isn't. And whether you download the track for free or you pay for it, once it's yours, it's yours to use. So now let's talk about where you can find this music that is safe to use for your podcast. And we're gonna start with seven free options. These are either gonna be royalty free music or creative commons or public domain, those three things that we talked about. The first option is Pixabay. Pixabay is an online archive of videos and images and music, and all the music there is safe to use in your podcast. The second place you can find free music is the YouTube Music Archive. So, didn't know if you knew this, but YouTube has an entire library of music that is safe to use, not only on YouTube, but anywhere else you wanna create content online. That includes your podcast. And so you can browse through it by genre, by track type, by all kinds of different filters to find a track that's really gonna fit your show. Another place you can find music is in Competech.com. It's actually one artist that has made their entire music library available to use, and you can use it for free. You just have to give credit to the artist in the work, either in the show notes or in like the outro of your podcast episodes, so people know where you found it. You can also go to SoundCloud, where artists will make their tracks available to use in commercial work. And so you definitely wanna check the filters of make sure that the CC label that you're looking at, the filter is to use or modify commercially to make sure that the artist actually wants you to use it in your podcast. But you can find a whole list from every single genre under the sun to use for free on your podcast. Next on our list is Musopen, where you can find an entire library of classical music to use in your podcast. And so a lot of this goes into the public domain of tracks that are available because the copyright is expired, but you'll also find some other things in there if you really wanna go with that classical route to fit your podcast. The next website you can find free music on is ccmixter.org. It's a library of more than 45,000 musicians and artists that you can download their work and use it in your podcast. It does take a little bit of time to kind of sift through the music that isn't as high quality to find some diamonds in the rough, but if you got some time, you can sift through there and find some good tracks for your show. And then the last free option, number seven, is freemusicarchive.org. They have an entire library of high quality tracks that are free to use and safe in your podcast. And so if the first six, you weren't able to find something great to use in your podcast, Free Music Archive might have the one you're looking for. So now that we've covered some free places you can find music that's safe to use in your podcast, let's talk about some paid options. And you may be wondering, why would you pay for something you can get for free somewhere else? In one word, quality. You can certainly find high quality tracks for free, but on the services we're gonna talk about next, every track is high quality. And so it's gonna save you a lot of time sifting through, trying to find the right track for you. And there's actually a person on the other side of that service helping to curate and make sure that the tracks you're viewing and listening to and sampling are actually gonna be worth your time. So let's start from the top with the number one recommendation that we have for paid royalty-free music, which is Soundstripe. And that's the service that we use for all of our podcasts here at Buzzsprout. And my favorite feature with Soundstripe is their playlists. You can search playlists based on genre, based on style, based on mood. And so if you kind of know a ballpark of what you're looking for, there's probably a playlist of 20 tracks to listen to, and one of those tracks is gonna be perfect for your show. Another place you can buy royalty-free music is Audio Jungle. This is probably one of the OG royalty-free music sites on the internet, and they have thousands of royalty-free music choices for you. Now, you do have to make sure you choose the right license, because they give you a bunch of license options when you're purchasing a track. You're looking for a multi-use license, and so that'll probably be in the $39, $40 range, but again, you're buying one piece of music, one time to use forever and ever in your podcast. So totally worth the investment. Option number three is stockmusic.com. And what's really cool about stockmusic.com is when you purchase a license to a song, it has essentially an infinity clause in it where you can use it forever and ever. So where Audio Jungle, you have to make sure you choose the right license when you're purchasing the song. With stockmusic.com, you don't have that problem. Anything you purchase, you can use forever. And then options four and five are actually really popular for YouTubers, but you can totally use these services for your podcast as well. And that's Epidemic Sound and Artlist. Both of them do a really good job of curating high quality tracks that you can use without having to worry about any kind of legal 
disagreements or payout structures or anything like that. They're really easy to search through and filter based on what you're looking for to find the perfect track for you. Now, we didn't rank these in any kind of order other than the one that we use here being the first one we mentioned. All five of these options are great places where you can find high quality, royalty-free music pretty quickly. So you may have just heard that list of 12 options for where you can find royalty-free music and you're thinking, I don't even have time to sift through 12 options. Why don't you just give me some tracks? Let's do that. So here are 10 tracks that are free to use safely in your podcast and we'll leave links to all of them in the description. So if you find one that you like, you can use it in your podcast. And something that you'll notice with all of these tracks is that there are no vocals. There is no singing, there is no talking, it's just music. And that's because when you're putting music into a podcast, you don't want it to be the star of the show, you want to supplement and complement what you're saying on top of that music. And if you wanna skip ahead to the next tip, just go to this timestamp here in the video or use the chapter markers to navigate ahead and skip the music. Now that you found the perfect track to use in your podcast, it's time to edit that music into your podcast, either as theme music or in your intro or outro. So if you use a Windows computer to edit your podcast, you'll wanna watch this video right here. We'll walk you through how to add music to your podcast inside of Audacity. But if you're a Mac user, you'll definitely wanna check out this tutorial here, which walks you through how to do that with GarageBand. So it just depends on your device and how you choose to edit, but both of these will show you how to add intro music into your podcast. And until next time, keep podcasting.